Good afternoon. I'm uh, on the upper uh, Knockbreaker Road. Very, very busy uh, dual carriageway. And I'm just opposite Craigie Glen entrance. Yes, this is the entrance to uh, Craigie Glen. And uh, this uh, wall area here, the workmen spent forever uh, getting the brickwork correct. And they've done a great job. So here's the notice board. This is part of uh, Conswater Community Greenaway. It runs, Craigie Glen runs along the uh, Glen River. It's quite steep. Uh, it's a good workout for you. Um, you'll not run it, you, you walk it. It's uh, lots and lots of uh, steps. So Craigie Glen runs uh, about three quarters of a mile up to Mance Road. And then it goes under the bridge of Mance Road and heads up to Lisnabrini Rath. The whole uh, walk is about one and a half miles. Uh, this section here is about three quarters and it's uh, <laughs> it's actually steep going. It's um, been refurbished uh, recently and is a very very pleasant uh, if steep walk up along uh, the Glen uh, stream. There's quite a deep ravine here. Um, it reminds me of the Colin Glen uh, walk, only it's a narrower strip here. And apparently these woodlands are mixed uh, deciduous. These woodlands are the last remnant of a, a thousand acre um, wood that used to cover this area. So the Glen will head up to the Mance Road here and then the upper area will be heading up to Lisnabrini Rath. And it passed a, a, um, a big house that's now part of Lagan College. And that big house was once uh, the home of the Robb family. And the Robbs used to uh, run a furniture shop in Belfast, a department store. And Nesca Robb was the lady who in 1937, I believe, uh, donated this uh, whole section of uh, Craigie Glen to the National Trust. She was a poet and historian. Well, if you want uh, somewhere secluded, uh, somewhere private to uh, get away from it all, somewhere to walk the dog, somewhere to get actually a good workout, somewhere to see uh, the closest waterfalls to Belfast city centre, um, somewhere to watch wildlife, a lot of good bird watching here. Red squirrels have been spotted in the Glen but I uh, haven't heard of any recent reports. There's jays, there's badgers, there's foxes all uh, in and around this area. Well, it's just a, a, a superb amenity. Somewhere to get your head shard, as they say. And Belfast City Council have done a superb job in refurbishing this uh, area. This um, pathway really uh, goes away down across the road, uh, across the Nocturne Tideway and you can follow it down, uh, away down to Victoria Park. I've just climbed up off the main pathway here and apparently these banks in the springtime are a sight to behold with blue bells and weed anemones.
path branches off here. So up to the left, you head up to the military cemetery, and then up to the right, you're heading across under the Manse Road and up to Lisnabrina. This is one of our hidden treasures. I've reached the uh, the midsection in uh, this uh, Craigie Glen walk. I've reached the uh, the Mance Road, and the bridge you can walk in underneath it, which is magic. You don't have to cross the road or anything. And I'm going to turn and go back down here. And I've just broken out of the trees once again, and that is the uh, dual carriageway. And this is uh, the uh, where I walked from. I walked from here, up Craigie Glen, past the cemetery, past uh, Nesca Rob's uh, old house. Um, oh no, I didn't. I stopped here and came down. So I've only done that section. You do it in, you do it in an hour and this section here goes past Legan College which is in there and up to Lisnabrini Viewpoint and Lisnabrini Raft and it is well worth, it's easier going than what uh, that one was.